Hello, today this video will go over developing keywords for research and constructing a search. When searching for an answer to a question, we typically type our whole question into Google and get an answer on the first result page. Academic research doesn't usually work that way. It is a longer, more involved trial and error process. Additionally, library databases work best when we use specific keywords to search rather than whole sentences or long phrases. You might be using the term therapy pet to describe a search term, but as you begin to see results, you may notice researchers and the databases might instead be using emotional support animal, which may yield better results. This is why it's important to come up with different keywords to use when you're not finding what you're looking for. Different keywords might work better in different databases. This video will walk you through the different steps to help you develop keywords for your own research. The research question we will be working with today is why do women make less money than men in the workplace? Step 1. Identify keywords from your research question. Take a look at your research question and pick out what you think are the most important words. For this question, I would identify women, make less money than, and workplace. Step 2. Come up with synonyms for your selected terms. For women, female, gender, mothers, girl. For make less money, wage gap, pay decrease, lack, compete, salary, wage inequity. For workforce, workplace, career, job, employment, field, or discipline. After you brainstorm up more keywords, pick out the terms you think best describe what you want to research. Remember, it can be a trial and error process, so try out different combinations of the other terms if you don't find what you're looking for. For example, if I try women, wage gap, and career, and I don't like what the results I see, I might try women, wage gap, and employment instead. Step 3. Construct your initial search. Remember, library databases work best when you use specific search terms rather than whole sentences or phrases. In many of our library databases, you will notice there are different search lines to put your search terms in either your initial search or the advanced search option. By keeping a capital A and D in between the first and the second term, I am requiring my results to include both terms rather than just one or the other. I am also going to add in or income inequality to the second line. By doing this, the result list will include sources containing wage gap or income inequality. You can also do this in a separate line by changing the drop-down box to OR instead of AND. Now my results will contain sources with search terms including women and wage gap or women and income inequality. Step 4. Narrow your research question if needed. As you begin to do research and see what kind of information is out there, you will most likely begin to narrow your research question a bit or your research question might change. This is a completely normal part of the process. As that happens, you may need to think of some new keywords you can add in to your research to get more narrowed results. For example, you might want to be more specific about a certain demographic of women, such as mothers, African American women, female veterans, or you consider focusing on a specific industry or field, such as medicine, business, sports, or the military. If it makes sense with your topic, you could add in words to limit by geographic location, such as Europe, the Midwest, Brown County, New York City. Adding in these terms might become more natural as you start to search and decide how you want to research and narrow your question a little bit more. Step 5. Broaden terms if needed. Depending on your topic, you might have to instead add in broader terms if you don't initially get the result you're looking for in your search. For example, if you are researching something very local or narrowed, such as, how do government-funded programs support families experiencing homelessness in Brown County? You might be able to find newspaper articles online from local news in the area, but there most likely won't be scholarly research focusing on Brown County. You'll most likely have to do some broader research on homelessness and government homeless programs in Wisconsin or in the whole country and apply that to your research using your own critical thinking. Remember, this is a trial and error process. Lastly, as you begin to find research related to what you're looking for, you could also try and take a look at the subject terms associated with your sources. Subject terms function as the official language databases use to group like terms together. They function similarly to hashtags on social media. 
looking at the subject terms associated with sources might provide you with new keywords to consider or use instead for better search results. In this article, for example, the subject term income distribution or women's employment might be good options to try out for this topic. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about developing keywords and constructing a search, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page.